Gangs. There's more good news first at five. Make it a safe and fun Halloween. One of the EMTs took the exam a few years ago. Just some old sample questions. You won't have to worry about acing the test. This is a timed exam, Mr. Rivera. I know. You'd better get started. Tomas! <laughs> no, but will I do? Mother. Please tell me this is an early Halloween and you are wearing a very scary mask. <laughs> Oh, darling, the only mask that's ever touched this face is of rare Japanese seaweed. I haven't even had a facelift. Amazing, isn't it? Maybe if I blink, you'll go away. <laughs> is my sparkle too bright for you? Well, I'll dim it if you think it'll bring us closer together. What? You're not. I came back to Bay City to be with you, my precious little angel. Jake, come on, if you're there, pick up. He. Finally. Oh! 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 Hey. Oh, God damn it. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi, you you're okay? Yeah, I'm right as rain. And and the leukemia's still in remission? Yeah, well, they, they seem to have given me just a complete and total overhaul. My engine's revved Ooh. and I'm ready to go. Mm. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, okay. How are you? I'm I'm fine. I'm really fine. I I um I was as a matter of fact waiting for Jake to stop by for dinner, but uh, want a cold chili dog? Ooh, no, I think I'll take a pass on that, actually. But uh, how does Jake's wife feel about my beautiful daughter yeah, serving know, him food? Come on, you know that Jake and I are just friends. Besides, Jake and Paulina split up like a bunch of idiots. Oh, no, not again. Yeah, I tried to tell Paulina that she was being a complete fool, but she seems to think she's in love with somebody else. Joe Carlino. Why am I the only one banging here? Are you afraid you're gonna hurt your little hand? There's no point, McKinnon. Nobody's gonna hear you. How do you know that? It's my restaurant. There's no night shift working here yet, Jake, because the damn place isn't even open yet. That's how I know. I'm not ready to turn into a popsicle, all right? I want out of here! Ow! You know, you are the one who locked us in there in the first Let place. Let me tell you something. The only rump roast in this place is you. Why do you have the electricity on? It's gonna be weeks before this dump is open anyway. Testing the machine. Testing it for what, Antarctica? It's freezing in this freezer. I pumped up the volume. Make sure it was working. <sighs> well, Joe, it's working. You know, I did not ask you to follow me in here, and I did not ask you to lock the door. I'll tell you something, Joe. I didn't know the thing was going to lock behind me, all right? Would somebody get me out of here? I'm stuck in a meat locker with my wife's jerky boy. You calm down. Damn, Bolina never told me you were such a wuss. I'm not a wuss. I'm claustrophobic because I'm in here. Well, you.
spoil you. Fruit of the Loom, always in season. How I unplug. I mix a few teaspoons of Irish Cream Cafe with the end of a busy day. I put on a little R&B, take off the previous eight hours, and throw in the sweats nobody likes but me. I close my eyes, inhale that warm Irish cream aroma, and think about something very important. Nothing at all. Irish Cream Cafe, new from General Foods International Coffees. When I have friends and family, I expected big savings. Mistake. I'm always on the move, and MCI didn't cover all my calling card calls. So I got AT&T True Reach Savings. It's the only way I save 25% on every type of call on my AT&T phone bill, anywhere in the U.S., no matter who I call. AT&T True Reach Savings. Save 25% after spending just $25 a month. I love a company that can keep up with me. AT&T True Reach Savings. That's your true choice. AT&T. Tfal, the number one brand of nonstick cookware, is about to change cooking with this exclusive anti-warping stainless steel disc. This is Armorall. Inside, Armorall's unique nonstick surface stands up to scratches like never before. The result is a nonstick pan that's built to last. Inside and out. That's Armorall. Yours to depend on from Tfal. Finally, I was soloist instead of my sister, Patty. What a time for a cough. <laughs> Patty gave me Robitussin cough drops. They worked fast in those papers. Thanks to Robitussin, I made my sister proud. Robitussin, cough drops from the cough experts. Betty Crocker knows what hungry guys want. Potatoes. 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 And Betty makes one hot potato. You came here to see me? The daughter you forget to write to 51 weeks out of the year, Mother? Hmm, dear, aren't there more than 51? You forgot to send me a birthday card until a month after my birthday. With a big fat check included, remember? What did you do with it? Something decadent, I hope. What am I saying? You're my daughter. <laughs> did Rachel ask you to come here? Because I know she called you the other day. <clears throat> Actually... She did mention a little problem you're having with uh, some boys, Nick and uh, Dick or something. What's his name? Thomas, yes, Nick and Thomas. Tomas, mother, Tomas, and I don't want to discuss it. But darling, I can help you. I mean, if there's anything I know about, it's men. How to get them, how to keep them happy, and the specialty of the house, how to win them back. Oh, mother, if you know so much about men and you're so good with them, how come you were dating that creep? in France, who came on to me last spring. Oh, Maggie, really? I wasn't dating him. Philippe was our host. I didn't want to be rude. Besides, it was only a harmless kiss. Was it? Forget it. Hmm, let's. Why don't you run and tell your grandmother that I'm here? Rachel's out of town, Mother. She's in L.A. with Carl visiting Amanda. Oh. So they left you all alone? The servants are here. You know, come to think of it, it's just like living with you. What is he doing? Uh, Randall's moving me in, darling. Uh, Randall? Uh, yes, Madame Poulignac. Uh, that's de Poulignac. Oh. Yes. Uh, now, don't forget the trunk this time and the hat boxes. They're the round ones and they have hats in them. Uh, yes, yes, Madame. Right up those stairs. Good boy. Awfully sweet, but a little bit <clears throat> slow. My life is over. You're living here in this house with me. No, it, it's, it's Mama. Um, Cass and I were just sitting to dinner, and um, the phone rang, and... Wait, wait, what is it? How is my sister? Is something wrong with him? She's had a stroke, and Molly says it's really bad. Honey, well, I, I just talked to her yesterday. Wait, she's my mother, and whenever she calls, I can't even wait to end the conversation. I... Yeah, I, I, should have, I should have gone out there with you. I should have fixed things between us, and now... Is it, what if it's too late, Charlene? Sit down, sit down a second. Look, Emma, I Emma is a fighter. All of us frame women are fighters. And, and, and if she knew that you were sitting here in this kitchen upset like Can this right now... Can you go home with me tonight? 
tonight. Frankie, I... I, I, I... I know my, my, my plane leaves in two hours now. I know that doesn't give you a lot of time, but you, you were going to go out there anywhere, weren't you? Look, I, it's just, I, I was just there all summer. Let me call. Cass, Cass is coming here to pick me up and take me to the airport. Now, please, Charlene, I cannot face Mama without you. Darling, I want to go. Of course I do. It's, it's just... Mama needs you. I family I, I needs know. I have, you. Look, I have a family right here who needs me as well. It's just that I, I don't know how the lawsuit's going to pan out for John, and I'm, and I'm not sure that I'm ready to leave him so soon. Oh, honey. Uh, what? What happened? Emma had a stroke. Oh, no. Oh, Frankie, I, I, I'm sorry. What, is she conscious? What did the doctor say? Well, it just happened. Uh, I'm, I'm going out to be with her now. I take it my wife is going with you. No, I, I said no. Well, I, I'm saying John, yes. John, no. Now I listen am... to me. I was at Michael's side for 24 hours a day after I found out that he had leukemia. Now, my brother and your sister happen to be two of the most difficult people on the face of this earth. Anybody that deals with them deserves a gold medal. Platinum. Right. Yeah. But we love them in spite of themselves. Go be with your sister. Are you sure that you will be okay here? Yes, of course. There's plenty of steak in the freezer. What kind of bozo gets a meat locker that locks from the inside? What's the matter, you afraid the loins of pork are gonna make a run for it? Fine. Genius. Go ahead. You're so smart, open the door. Here. Why couldn't you carry your gun today, Mr. Cop? That way we could blast our way out of here. Well, you have to tell me today. Ask me about Paulina. Don't even say her name. Why not? She's my fiance. This is no use. Oh, you gotta put your hands in your coat. You forget your mittens, Joe. I'm trying not to get frostbite. Is that all right with you? I'm turning blue. No, I'm not. You want the jacket? I don't want your crummy jacket. Fine. I got yourself quite a locker. This was really, really worse. Hey, hey, come, come on. on! Get out of here! I don't want to die! You're not going to die. Everybody thought I was dead this year, and now it's really gonna happen. You planned this. Paulina told you I was, I was, I was claustrophobic, and you, and you set it up so that I would be stuck in here, and you would get out at the last minute, didn't you? You knew the whole thing was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Jake. Wait, wait, you're not making any sense, McKinnon. That's part of the course with you. I'm not wasting my time arguing with you anymore. Damn it, it's cold in here. Something I'm really not that, that, that cold anymore. I am sleeping. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take a little nap. You you wake me when we get rescued, okay? No. No. No, you don't. No. 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 Jake, come on. This is a sign, man. If you're tired, it means you get hypothermia. Come on. Jake, you gotta stay awake. Come on. Okay. Family traditions are very important. This year, we have a new one. We're watching TV because the men offered to do the dishes. And they've got it completely under control. They follow all the little steps, like pre-rinsing. No matter who does the dishes, Cascade does the dirty work. Other leading brands can leave spots. Cascade, with sheeting action, gets them so clean, they're virtually spotless. Gorgeous! Now, can you say laundry? Here, 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 here it goes! Hey, Mom. Hi, guys. Hey. Worked up a sweat. 
Yeah, sort of. Hey, what's your drink? Oh, All right, we got soda, OJ, purple stuff. 3D, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tastes like orange, tangerine, and lime. Some healthy junk, too. Sunny Delight, the good stuff kids go for. It. <laughs> I have combination skin. Sometimes it's oily, sometimes it's dry. Breaking a makeup, just can't deal. What about halfway through the day when your makeup just breaks up? And the world sees you shining? Not pretty. Not at all. Rachel Hunter shares a CoverGirl secret. New balanced complexion makeup. Your skin gets just what it needs, just where you need it. It balances the oily and dry parts. Well, yeah, like hour after hour, your skin still looks fresh and natural. And you're not always touching up in the mirror. Try new balanced complexion makeup. Like beauty insurance for combination skin. It's a CoverGirl promise. I told you so. <laughs> It's just the morning and you don't need to caffeinate it for two. Wake up to Folgers Coffee Singles, made with ground roast decaffeinated coffee for one freshly brewed cup. The best part of waking up is singles in your cup. Huh, they say these little pills coat like Pepto-Bismol uh -huh. and relieve like Pepto-Bismol, uh -huh. but they don't taste like Pepto-Bismol? Uh -huh. How do they expect people to swallow that? With water, dear. Pepto-Bismol caplets, the comfort of Pepto without the taste. NBC Tuesday on Wings, Lola's back one last time, and he's changed. Come here, dumb twins. <laughs> then, News Radio's Office Romance Exposed. This is delicious. <laughs> and Frazier battles Bulldog in the war of practical jokes. <laughs> and the pursuit of happiness has Wings, Stephen Weber. NBC Tonight. Dateline Tonight. Kristen was stalked, chased, and savagely beaten by an obsessed ex-boyfriend, and no one helped. The system failed. Why? Dateline NBC Tonight. I guess we're pretty lucky Nick showed up when he did. Mm -hmm. Not that we just love him for his bone marrow, of course. <laughs> I have to tell you, though, that kid beelined straight to my heart when he saved your life. I, for one, will never cease to be amazed at the twists and turns that life takes, you know. How are you doing? Really? I miss Ryan. I bet you do. Mm -hmm. You know, I really thought I had made it through all the tough stuff. The funeral and sleeping in our bed alone for the first time, but... Oh, honey, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there for no, you. No, I no, just... no, 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 you were taking care of your health, and I have to tell you straight out here that I could not have handled losing you, Excuse too. Me, I, I, I... What am I sitting on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, yes, this, um... Shows you how weird I'm getting. I'm having these revenge fantasies about Justine, you know, the... Princess takes revenge on the wicked witch for what she did to Ryan. I really understand that. I mean, I'm, I really understand how you feel. I mean, as best I can, but... You know, there's one thing I learned having the leukemia, and that was that uh, all the rage and the anger that I felt, I, I learned I had to let it go. Because uh, the longer I held on to it, the more it would hurt me. You know, we just got to find a way to let it go. And this may seem hard to believe, but you know something? There's going to come a time again when you feel like living. <laughs> you want to get out there with the kids and, and have a life. I hope so. I told Stephen about Ryan today. Mm. They were such good friends. Yeah. You know, I thought he'd cry or something, and I would comfort him, but... All he said was, can I go play my video games? And then he just spent the entire day acting out. I'll bet. Well, maybe uh, Grandpa Michael can <laughs> jump in there and help out a little. That know? would be great. He loves Grandpa Michael. And you know something? Actually, someone else was a really big help today. It's, it's going to shock you, but uh, it was Grant. Grant was here? What, what was he doing no, there? It's okay. He, um, it was his day to visit Kirkland, you know, so... Um, he came over here, and Stephen was was really acting out, and Grant put on his, his daddy voice, and Stephen just snapped right back into shape, you know. And then he did help me out with Kirkland for a while, and, you know, Grant is really taking Ryan's death hard. Maybe it's changed him. Well, maybe the... Well, I'm sure that the death of somebody that you love or even the possibility of the death of somebody that you love can bring out the best in, in just about anybody. Right? And Mom has been incredible. She's coming by and bringing me all these books that I don't need. <laughs> no. 
Your mother loves to be needed. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm going to go uh, check on okay, Kirkland fine. before he wakes up. Baldor, I'll get the door. Okay. okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, great. I'll tell the doctors in Minnesota that my ex-wife thought that I looked good. <laughs> you mean it wasn't that you spent all day at a spa? No, actually, the doctors tend to frown on face peels. Uh, <laughs> they're just really adept at making people much better. Good. And your, your leukemia is... In total remission. I'm completely recovered. Well, in that case... Ow. How dare you show your face to me? Will you be dining alone? Mm. Uh, no, my boyfriend's been here. I mean, my fiance. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you. Actually, we almost made it to the altar not too long ago, but we got sideswiped by my husband showing up. <laughs> well, it's a <laughs> long story. So, um, anyway, we, we, Joe and I are celebrating being back together again <laughs> the minute he gets here. <gasps> oh, well, which, ooh, <laughs> should have been almost 10 minutes ago. <gasps> I wonder where he is. Hey, McKinnon, you listen to me. You hate my guts, right? I hate you even more. But if you fall asleep right now, you're gonna die, you understand? Give oh. me a blanket. Don't do this, Jake! Man, you wanna die in, a, in this place? Well, you gotta go sometime. This is not a joke, Jake. You wanna, you wanna end your life in a meat locker? I wish Paulina was here to snuggle. You know, Paulina told me that, uh, she used to fall asleep on her all the time. What? Yeah. It's one of the reasons she picked me. She said, uh, she likes a guy to stay awake. Well, you tell Pauline and I said 99. Jay, come on, don't do this. Here. That's it. That's it. Whoa! You're wearing the jacket, whether you like it or not. This might save your good for nothing life. Him in the arm. Damn. You're dressing up a huge baby. There we go. All right. There it is. There you go. All right? Jake, come on. Jake. Jake. Wake up. Jake, wake. Jake. Jake. You're the one who got us locked in this lousy meat locker to begin with. Look, I am not going to have this on my conscience the rest of my life. And I'm not giving Paulina a reason to blame me because you're stupid. Oh, my God. Man, you moron. This doesn't work. I'm telling you right now. I'm letting you die. Because there is no way we are going skin to skin. First one finish, Mr. Rivera. That's usually a sign you did well. Um, um, never. Yes. Uh, never mind. The first bedroom on the left. That's this side, left. Thank you. It's my uh, favorite bedroom. It has the best mirrors. You can't just move in here, Mother. This isn't your house. I'm sure Rachel will love having me. You know we're like sisters. Well, she was my mother-in-law once, but she does hate it when I bring that up. And she's going to hate it when you take up all her closet space. How long are you staying, Mother? I almost forgot. 
I have a precious little gift for my darling angel. You cannot bribe me into wanting you here. It's a velvet beret that I found in Monte Carlo at the Hotel de Paris. Let's see how it looks. Oh, just perfect. Look, 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 look for yourself. Yes, très joli. I never said you had bad taste, Mother. But you cannot play dress up with me anymore. I'm not five years old. Yes, I can see that for myself. I'm not here for you to play dolls with anymore, Mother. I have my own life. It might suck right now, but it's mine. I don't need you. Don't be vulgar, darling. Yes, I may not have been a model mother. There were some problems. I made a few mistakes. Well, you mean you abandoning your only daughter? I'm better off without you, Cecile. Oh, no, Maggie. Nothing can replace a mother's love. Won't you let me try to make up for all the lost time? No way. Maggie, please, can't I try? Mother, the people in this town have this big thing about the speed limit. Won't that be a drag for someone who's used to living in the fast lane? Anyone would think that you didn't want me here. Bingo. You got the dress and all the rest. The look you're looking for. Now you got more. Now Caress has more rich moisturizer for softer skin. You got the walk, the smile, the talk. You got style galore. Now you got more. More moisturizer. Now Caress does more for your skin. Leaves it softer, smoother than any soap can. You're feeling good, cause baby, now you got more. Before you dress, Caress. Come softly from part, warm the day tenderly with your heart. Come and stay quietly. We meet there where times are gently stirred. Softly we meet there where hearts are gently held. Swissness warms the heart. Arizona is not just a state of the union. It's a state of mind. Arizona Jeanswear, from the original Arizona Jean Company. It's more about attitude and latitude. It's clothes for people who think and people who care. It's clothes that fit your head. Arizona, great prices, great jeanswear. For whatever state you're in. Only at JCPenney. Fisher Price knows even the littlest kids want to get in on the game. So we made our new hold the phone game easy enough for preschoolers. When everybody holds hands, the phone talks to them. Where's the meow, meow. Then everyone scrambles to find the winning piece. But remember, the fun can only happen when everyone holds hands. Find the oink, oink. New hold the phone, just one of the preschool games from Fisher Price. Who says big kids should have all the fun? Fisher Price knows. For a cereal that's more than just flakes, try Clusters. Clusters starts with crispy flakes, then adds crunchy clusters made with nuts and the right touch of honey for a sweet, nutty taste. So for a cereal with a nutty difference, get your hands on some Clusters, if you can. Kids love Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Pass it down. And now we've added 33% more chicken. No, not at all. So now there's more to go around. I never knew there was chicken in this soup. Mmm, Campbell's. Mmm, -mm, better. How dare you remain incommunicado Whoa. after what your family went through for you? Whoa, you still pack a hell of a wall up there, Blackie. Don't call me Blackie, not after all those unreturned phone calls. What do you mean? I called you back. Once. You called one time. Well, I was very grateful that you were thinking of me. Our daughter needed you, Michael. Hey, she seems to be in terrific shape. I think she has a lot more strength than you're giving her that's credit not for. That's strength. That's denial. She's not grieving. She's not? No. But, I mean, we were talking before you came over. She seems fine. You should have called her from the clinic. Well, who says I didn't? Well, I just assumed you didn't. You I called her every chance I got. Every day? Sometimes more. And I called Marley, and I called Nick. So what's your problem? I don't have a problem. I'm just worried about her. She's not accepting the fact that Ryan is gone. Hi, Mom. Oh, darling, 
You look tired. Why don't oh, you try to it. get some sleep? I'm fine. I'm fine, really. Have you read any of those books I brought no, you? No, I could write my own book on grief. No, Jake? No, I'm sorry, no. Oh, well. Um, Bridget made uh, apple turnovers. Ooh. Would uh, anybody like some? Mm -hmm. I would. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With whipped cream, maybe? Yeah. Cool. Sure. Mm, great. Mm. I'll get the plate. Okay. I'll get the napkins. All right, I'm just going to check on Kirkland and make sure he's really asleep. Nice to have you guys together. I'll get the plates. You know, I gotta say, I mean, I think she's she's kind of right. You know, it is nice to have us back together. Just you know, a little bit like old times. Hardly. Where's the baby? She fell asleep in the car seat. Oh, did, did, did you pack uh, my books on holistic healing for Mama? Yeah, they're in your carry-on bag, along with the crystals. And my bags are in the car, too. Why? I'm coming with you. What about the lawsuit? I can handle Lori's case with conference calls. I want to be there with you for this. And what about Morgan? What about him? Cass, you cannot go on fighting with your brother. I'm not. He's the only one who's fighting. Cass, listen to me. Ever since we heard about Mama, I, I've been thinking a lot about why this happened to her now. You, you think know? there's a reason? But there, there are no accidents. And I have been withholding myself from her. Like, yes, we talk on the phone, sort of, then we see each other once in a while. But the truth of the matter is I blame her for not being the mother I wanted her to be instead of just accepting her for who she is. Well, now be careful you don't canonize her just because she's sick. She's still the same old stubborn woman. Yeah, and I'm stubborn too. I'm so stubborn that I've been waiting all these years for some outside force to just push me past all this bad stuff. But you know what? The woman gave me life. I owe it to her to put in the time to try to get close to her again. And I want you to do the same thing with Morgan. Why? He didn't give me life. Cass, he is your brother. You share a history. Frankie, if there's going to be any coming together, it's way off down the road. It's a cop-out. Fix it while there's time. Frankie, Cass, I tr... Drop me off at the airport and go to Morgan's. Make him talk to you. And, and fix things up with John, too. I mean, we are family. We need to be good to each other. We're never going to be the Brady Bunch. All I'm asking is that you try. Please. Of course. Okay, he'll try. Mm. Mm. Now this I'm gonna miss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You better. I'm gonna call Felicia and have her keep an eye on you. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I don't want any floozy moving in on my man while I'm out of town. Hey, this guy is completely yours and you know that. You know that. Oh, Maggie, I'm going to stay as long as it takes to get your life pulled together. Now, tell me about these two young men you're having trouble with. Well, you already know about Tomas. Mm, the Greek god. Oh, you should see his pecs. Mm. And his smile. Well, I can't wait. Is he coming by this evening? Well, kind of. I mean, maybe. He sort of broke up with me. What? Broke up with my daughter. Why? Because of Nick. The other Greek god. Oh, he's off the meter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. It sounds like you're in a delicious dilemma. Mother, you don't understand. Oh, I think I do, yes. I once had two dukes in love with me at the same time. They were fighting over me, sort of duking it out, uh, when uh, they got word that I'd run off with the Count Sebastian of Poland. Mm. See, the key to love is to have fun and keep it fun. I mean, when it stops being fun, honey, just get rid of them. Thanks for the advice, Mother. <gasps> Anytime, my pet. Now, would you uh, make sure Randall put the bags in the correct room? And would you like me to draw you a bubble bath while I'm at it? Later, dear, though it's a lovely thought. Oh, this place. It's so provincial. But it does show money. I think I can live here for a while. <clears throat> Doorbell! Uh, they're all deaf. Well, well. 
I'm here to see Maggie. Then it must be Tomas. Remember the Hollywood lash? The spiked lash? Even doe eyes. You ain't seen nothing. Today, Revitalizing by Maybelline reinvents mascara with the unique... Moss. So who are you? Well, people are always saying that I look like Maggie's sister. But I'm her mother, believe it or not. Wait, you're Cecile? <laughs> My reputation precedes me. Can you please tell Maggie that I want to see her? Tomas. Tomas, I knew you'd come. Mother, your things are upstairs. You can unpack now. Oh, thank you, dear. See, I was just getting acquainted with your young man. You know, you look an awful lot like the Marquis d'Avignon. He was a wonderful horseman. Do you ride? Mother. Um, I, I want to I see Maggie. Okay. Well, enjoy, mes enfants. I'll just be upstairs phoning the Riviera if anyone needs me. Tomas, I knew you'd come. Now, why is that? Why? Yeah. Why were you so sure I was going to come over and see you tonight, Maggie? We are not together anymore, remember? I, I thought you'd want to see me to thank me. What's wrong? You know those old EMT questions you gave me to help me with my EMT exam? That was a setup, wasn't it? Didn't you do well? Maggie, you gave me all the answers. When I looked at the test, I knew every single one of them. But that's great, isn't it? Maggie, I have never, ever cheated in my whole entire life. But you were worried you were going to fail. And because of you, you decided to give me all the answers, right? You set me up to cheat, Maggie, because you knew that was the real test, didn't you? Greg, I don't think you can take that truck. It's a little too big for the airplane. Mommy, can I please get this truck? Ooh. That is way too big for your suitcase. And besides, your daddy just said no. And we're a team, you know that. Okay, I'll go clean up that. Thank you very much. Hurry, we don't want to miss the airplane. Scoot. Listen, I left the number of the hospital in Chadwell here. You can always reach me at Emma's if you need to. Okay. And, and I didn't do the dishes. Listen, I... listen, I can take care of this place for a couple of days. Did it all summer. I, I know, and I don't like making a habit of this. I like taking care of my man. It makes me happy. It makes me happy, too. Then you make sure you call me after your meeting with Dr. Madison tomorrow. Don't worry. Right after. I will. Because, John, I'm going to worry. I can handle you... Dr. Madison, and I can handle our life here until you get back. Hi. Come on. Buy your jacket. A little chilly out there. There you go. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. Hi, John. Cass? Coming out to the airport with us? My family is getting on a plane without me. Of course, I'm coming to the airport. Well, I guess we're in the same boat, then. Yeah, it looks that way. Look, uh, if, if we leave right now, we can make the flight, so let's go. Come on, everybody to the car. Can I get the bedex for you? Yeah, I no, got that no. this morning. Yeah. Go ahead, I'll just... Shivering, finally. You sound like that's a good thing. It is a good thing. It means you're not losing any more body temperature. Well, I guess that's because I'm so close to you, big guy. Cut it out. Hold me closer, please. You better not be enjoying this thing, McKinnon. Would you sing me a lullaby? I will not get to the moon, McKinnon. Oh, you keep it up. Mrs. Promises. You listen to me. I didn't have to save your good for nothing life, okay? <laughs> you lousy stinking no Don't good Don't say it's over. Not after everything we've been to each other. That's it. That's it. Fine. If you want to die, go ahead and die. I'm through. Don't do that like that, damn it. Don't do it. 
Let me tell you something right now. I swear, if you are faking this, don't say anything. Just hold me. Hey! Hey, get us out! Open the door! Open the door! What? It's not what it looks like. Yes, it is. Shut up. Fisher Price knows even the littlest kids want to get in on the game. So we designed our new Bop and Bee game just for preschoolers. With extra big pieces, it's easy to play and a beehive of fun. While Bop and Bee buzzes around, kids make their flowers pop up to snatch as many honey chips as they can. The one with the most honey chips wins. New Bop and Bee, just one of the preschool games from Fisher Price. After all, who says big kids should have all the fun? Fisher Price knows. It's not easy being big. That's why you should try new pull-ups training pants. The label shows front from back, so kids learn how pull-ups go on. And the new awareness liners designed to let kids know when to take them off. Knowing when, learning how. That's the pull-ups way to train. Mommy, wow! I'm a big kid now. Before you color your hair, step and think. What if you could protect your hair as you color? Now you can with Excellence Cream from L'Oreal. Because Excellence is a cream, it doesn't drip. It even protects. And Excellence Cream really covers gray. What I love is the color, rich and healthy. That's Excellence Cream. Does your hair color do all that? Excellence, the protective cream coloring from L'Oreal. It's a cream. Think about it. If you want relief from minor arthritis pain, turn up the heat on arthritis. Just minutes after applying Ultra Strength Bengay, you can actually see the heat. It's the strongest, most advanced Bengay ever, with the heating power of three pain relievers. So turn up the heat on arthritis. Okay, now don't get Grandma too excited. She has been running on the same Duracell battery since the Ice Age. Uh, ah! Ah! Those Duracell batteries sure do last. You can't top the copper top. Watch. Hey, no, too loud! Ah! Who you call me? Busy day. Keep your eyes open. Make sure you get it all. I need to talk to you privately. And see a man's career unravel right in front of you. You could be on your butt for this. So don't blink. ER, all new NBC Thursday. Health Watch. Almost 2001. In their own words. In-depth reports. Tom Brokaw's an American close-up. Watch NBC Nightly News now more than ever. I, I told you it was an old test from a few years ago. Who did you get it from? Who did you get the old test questions from? I don't remember his name right now, Tomas. He was blonde. Pretty tall. Um, he was, he was new. Hey, if he's new, how could he give giving you questions from years ago? Well, he wasn't that new. Did you stop lying? What difference does it make, Tomas? You passed, didn't you? I don't believe it, you. Tomas, I thought that's what you were worried about, failing, and you wouldn't become an EMT. I was just trying to help you. Yeah, and because of you, I cheated. Tomas, what are you going to do? I'm going to tell the licensing board all the truth. But you can't. You'll flunk, and then maybe they won't let you take that test again. Look, I, I know how important becoming an EMT is to you, and I know that one day you want to become a doctor. Please don't screw up your whole future because you're mad at me. Look, I, I'll go to the people in charge, I'll talk to all them, right. and I'll tell them Maggie, it's my Maggie, fault. Maggie, you are going to stay out of my life. I can fix this. Maggie, Tomas. listen to me. Do you know what I want from you? Nothing. I want you out of my life. Maggie, did I hear Tomas leaving? Oh, my precious little bird. Did he hurt you? Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, good. What? Nothing. Well, you're not eating anything. You're getting crumbs all over the couch. Yeah. Oh, my word. You're so right. I am. Excuse me. What are you looking at? Nothing. I'm just staring off into space. Your face just happened to be in the way. 
Actually, I was thinking about my fiance. Matthew probably is wondering where I am so late. Tell Victoria that I had to go. Well, I have to say it was very glad to see you. I mean, I'm very glad to see you, even though uh, I got whacked in the process. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Can I uh, help you with this, please? Here, just get the collar up like this. There you go. Michael. Donna. You're getting crumbs all over me. Don't eat too much. You look wonderful, and we don't want you getting too fat. I haven't a clue. Yes, oh, man, warm air. Oh, quick. Well, oh, thank you, buddy. You saved our lives, thank man. Thank you so much, man. Thank thank you. We were in there by mistake. Oh, we were thanks. freezing our butts off. Oh. Don't, don't tell me. I, I, I don't want to know. Hey, we won't forget you, man. Thanks, buddy. Oh, oh man, he couldn't wait to get out of there. Whew. Yeah. Me too. I'll see you around. No, wait, uh, your coat. You had a little wrinkle. Don't worry about it. Have a dry clean send me a bill. I don't think I won't. Yeah. Oh, thank God that's all over with. You, you tell me about it. Hey, listen, uh, thanks a lot for the coat and, uh, and uh, everything that you've been in there. You would have done it for me, right? Don't push it. Just add Old El Paso to Old El Paso. Top, and three minutes later, you're a... Nacho, nacho, nacho man. Old El Paso, where it's easy to be nacho. Man. It's not polite to point. Mm, she's a natural. It's not nice to push. Got that smile. Oh, she's a natural. Playtex, cross your heart. Got that way. A gentle lift Got for you. that style. A natural shape under clothes. The cross your heart brow. Playtex. Jared really gets a creative workout with Play School's all-in-one fun learning center. It's an easel, a desk, it even talks to him. Draw a circle. It challenges older kids, too. You spilled dog. Yes, I did. This is an idea whose time has come. My nephew, Jake, is really creative, so I got him Play School's Light Up Picture Maker. The design discs help him draw like the big kids. He started simple, but now he does whole scenes. It even fits in his all-in-one fun learning center. The right tools make a world of difference. There's only one baby like yours, and only one baby food like ours, Gerber. No one knows more about purity, safety, and nutrition, and how to make sure a baby likes it, than Gerber. To learn more why four out of five pediatricians who recommend baby food recommend Gerber, call us anytime, day or night. You know you can trust Gerber for learning to eat smart right from the start. Your toothbrush that's fighting a never-ending battle against bacteria. But add a new cavity-fighting toothpaste from Listerine and you've got a powerful germ-killing weapon. Introducing Cool Mint Listerine Fluoride Toothpaste with Listerine ingredients. It kills the germs that cause plaque for a clean feeling that goes beyond brushing. Turn your toothbrush into a lethal weapon. Cool Mint Listerine Toothpaste. The power of prevention. Joe, honey, where have you been? I've been worried. Would you believe I got locked in a meat locker with Jake? Well, wait, wait a minute, where? Down at Pop's restaurant. I walked in, I checked the thermostat, right? I crank it all the way up to make sure it's working, right? Turn around, who's standing there but Bonehead? Oh, no, what did he do? He locked us in, brain surgeon that he is. Would have frozen to death if the night watchman hadn't come by and found us. Well, you could have killed each other well, first. Well, it came pretty close to that, I, oh, know. I can imagine. Creep. 
You know something that's weird, though? In a way, we kind of got closer. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the worst is over for me and Jake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bite of that. I guess the night watchman never saw two guys in a clinch before. <laughs> you are so lucky that guy didn't pop you over the head with it. Carlino was the one that wanted to kill me. Oh, did you really ask him to sing you a lullaby? <laughs> the guy's such a gullible chump, I couldn't help myself. No, but I, I was a good boy. I mean, I, I, I said thank you and I shook his hand. Good. At least that's three good things that came out of tonight. You didn't die of uh, hypo whatchamacallit. <laughs> I'm laughing, which I haven't done in a while. Who's number three? You and Carlino buried the hatchet. Says who? Says you. You just said you shook hands. What are you talking about? I, 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 maybe I'll throw the guy off balance a little bit. I'm going to tell you something. Tiny Elvis is not going to run off into the sunset with my wife. Jake. I can't. Him and his flea bag restaurant. Frozen veal chops. Joe Carlino is opening a restaurant. <laughs> Jake, hmm. what is going on in that sick little mind of yours? Hey, Joe. Hey, Tomas. Getting out tomorrow's dinner. Wish I was. Her sister had a stroke, so she's on her way to Oklahoma. We're gonna have to fend for ourselves for a few days again. Huh. Well, I hope she's okay. Yeah, me too. I know this must be tough for you, you know, having Charlene gone and with a lawsuit and everything. Yeah, I'll manage. How'd your EMT exam go? It went great. Well, good. Yeah. It's good that something went right today in his family. Tomas told me he never wants to see me again. Oh, he may say that, but he doesn't mean it. Mother, you don't know him. He has this major thing about honesty, and I've totally screwed it up with him and Nick. They both wanted me a week ago, and... I'm sure they did. Now neither of them do. Did this have to happen to me, Mother? Well, don't fret, dear. They're only men. Men are definitely the weaker sex. Enough of your manhandling lessons. We'll save them for tomorrow morning. It's awfully late. Don't you have classes tomorrow? Yeah. Maggie. It's good to be with you, my pet. See you at breakfast. Good night, love. Darling, it's me. I'm back. <laughs> See you. Fathers dance with daughters. As long as there are welcome mats. And childhood. Intercrafting Kodak frames, $3.99 and $4.99.